Hive of Kodo UK. We are here at the moment at the Sporting TV presents Chris Gracie's God's Own Junkyard exhibition. This is the Neon Man who's done some pretty cool neon designs and all sorts of things. Films like Judge Dredd, he's done bits for, he's even worked with Stanley Kubrick. And he even did the uh, Christmas sign at Selfridges this year, which uh, over Christmas, which you would have been familiar with. So we're going to have a little butcher's round, take a few little snaps, and uh, maybe get a word for the guy himself who's in there. And remember to go on artpie.co.uk to check out all the latest art. <laughs> you said it's more like you, what did you try to achieve in this division? Well I've got a collection of seven or eight hundred different neon signs and bulb signs that I've made over the last 37 years in collecting and uh, Spine TV they were kind enough to make a film about me doing neon and sandwiches and lights and all that and uh, it, they said to me do you want to do a pop-up shop for a week and uh, it took me three days to put it all in and I said yeah I'll do it and we've only been open for five days and it finishes tomorrow night which is a shame because we've had about God, a thousand people a day coming in yeah, here. Yeah. So it's been, it's been quite good in terms of oh, uh, yeah. music and... Yeah, 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 and everybody loves it. But then you know, all this kind of thing, you either love it or you hate it, it's a bit of yeah. you know, some people love it, some people hate yeah. it. I try to give it a, it's not really a retail experience, it's more like you're walking into a set of Mega City, Judge Street kind of, Blade Runner kind of feel. Yeah, yeah no, it, feel, it feels like you know, you're just yeah. walking through all sort of uh, yeah. stories. It could be an absolute yeah. yeah. house or anywhere really. Have you got um, a piece you, you like more than another one in this collection? Yeah. Or? Well, that one through there. Surgery neon sign. Yeah. I did that for David La Chapelle. And how long? Um, I did that five years ago. Okay. For Selfridges. And um, it's quite interesting. You got the big fat woman that turns into Pamela Anderson, so it's not very PC. Yeah. And it's quite funny looking at people, women especially, coming in and reading that sign. And I'm not telling them where, where it's from, but they think that it's on a real plastic surgery shop. Yeah. But actually, it's make believe it's meant to look like it yeah. came from the dark side of Vegas. But that Union Jack with bowls, I just made that. Yeah. And then uh, I didn't have a job for it. And then Alexander the Queen used it in the window displays. Um, so, how long does it take for like, that piece, for example? That, oh, it's about two weeks to build that. So it's only you or you've got guys in the US? It's a team effort, there's about 12 or 14 of us working together. And um, I've come up with the ideas and then we all kind of put it together. Okay. That's a very kind of, this one here, this is a very kind of sexy, trashy yeah. kind of way. This thing again, that's part of the big thing on the side. What I've tried to do is I've tried to use a lot of different things to try and encapsulate the overall feel of what my collection is. Because it's massive. Is that your first major exhibition? I've never done an exhibition. And that's it's your first, the first one, one. Yeah. And I've got the biggest collection in Europe, outside of America, probably the biggest collection outside yeah. of the US. And uh, nobody ever sees it. Yeah. And once it's all packed up, we'll be putting it, taking it back to the East End of all from start. I might do it in a warehouse, I'm not doing in a warehouse now, yeah. so that people can come, or yeah, yeah. Okay. in the next few months, so that people can actually come and, you know, savour the yeah. neon, 